Y'all, this is gonna be one of the toughest things for me to say, but I'm gonna say it. Do not come and do Taekwondo in South Korea. So, in case you guys didn't know, I am a fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo, and I started my Taekwondo journey back in 2003. I pretty much, I love the art. I competed in the state championships, competed in national championships, I fought overseas in Japan. I love Taekwondo. So you can imagine how hard it is for me to tell you guys to not come to Korea and do Taekwondo, which is the country where Taekwondo originated. But I promise you I have good reasons. But I also promise you that there are alternatives to this. Okay, so to start things off, one reason why you shouldn't come and do Taekwondo in Korea is this. If you love Taekwondo, you love to compete, you love to fight with adults, well, you'll find that most classes in Korea are for kids and teenagers. And when I came, I thought that was the weirdest thing. There's really no adults doing Taekwondo because there's just nothing but kids going after school and just doing Taekwondo. And, and not only that, but it's, it's almost like they're doing jump rope and playing soccer in Taekwondo, like in the dojang. And I'm just like a grown man just playing these games with these kids. And I came to actually get better at the martial art. And then it dawned on me that I was wasting my time. Now I understand that obviously not all Taekwondo schools in South Korea are like this, but it is about 95 to about 98%. I kid you not. Of course, if you're a beginner in Taekwondo, then you will probably be okay with taking classes with teenagers and stuff like that because, I mean, because you're a beginner, everything will be new and everything will be fresh and then you'll be working on your flexibility and you'll be learning these kicks and if you punch for the first time. And so it will still be like, wow, right? You're doing Taekwondo in Korea, learning from a Korean master. But for me, who's been doing Taekwondo for a long time, let's say you're a seasoned Taekwondo martial artist and athlete and you just want to get better to compete you are gonna find it really difficult here because again, not a lot of schools train adults. Now there are some schools here in South Korea that do train adults, but it's a little bit tougher to find. To my knowledge, a lot of those schools that do adult classes are actually in Seoul and, and I don't live in Seoul, I live in Incheon. So that's like a solid like hour plus to get to those schools. I'm sorry, it's probably about two hours to get to those schools. So there's no point in me even trying. So that's why I ended up taking up like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and boxing at one point because it's just, yeah, that was new for me. So that's why I ended up taking up Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because there's a ton of adults doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I can actually be challenged. All right, so the second thing about doing Taekwondo in South Korea is that you'll find that everything is kind of watered down and which sounds really weird coming out of my mouth and hearing that because it's Korea, you would think nothing will be watered down because again, this is the origin, South Korea. But I found that I had more challenging competition, more challenging classes and training in America than I ever did in South Korea. One of the biggest reasons is that because in Korea, it is, like I told you, more for kids. And so that means it's more marketed for children. And so you'll find that a lot of the things, like I mentioned earlier, like jump rope and soccer inside of school is more for retaining clients and retaining children. And so it ends up earning more money, but then kind of losing that martial art aspect to it. And not to mention, a lot of Taekwondo schools here actually cost a good amount of money. So when I went to school, I believe it was 120, 130, maybe a little bit more for Taekwondo classes. I, in retrospect, I don't think I would ever do that again. I've done Taekwondo long enough to where I can train myself. The problem is, again, you need to have somebody there to push you or to spar with you. So, which also, when I went to the school, there were no one to spar with me. And like, I competed in nationals and stuff. Like, if I was to fight the instructors, that would probably be more challenging and more around my level than if I was to fight other students. And because I was used to just getting knocked around by people in the States. So when I came here, it was just kind of just really like light sparring. I don't know what we were doing. Um, and I kind of missed that tough side of Taekwondo that I just did not get here in Korea. All right, so here's the reason why you should learn Taekwondo in South Korea. That is this, if you find a really good school here in South Korea with a great instructor and some awesome classmates, you are going to ex really appreciate the art. Here in South Korea, Koreans take a lot of pride in it as to what is Korean. And Taekwondo is something that all men who've gone into the military and everything have learned and studied. And there's a lot of boys, a lot of girls who are taking Taekwondo as well. Taekwondo is a big thing here in South Korea. 
So I would say for Taekwondo for me, at my level, which is that of someone who's competed in state and national championships back in the US, if you were just learning Taekwondo, Korea is a great place to start. If you do Taekwondo in Korea, you may find that your belt may increase really fast. You may jump up in rank before you even know it. And I have met second dons, third dons, third second degree black belts, third degree black belts. And from the black belts that I've met in the US and fought against versus the ones I've met here and seen here, I was extremely surprised that they would even have that level. And I remember being back at home and getting the black belt, just the first black belt was a struggle. Like you really had to fight to get that black belt. But you'll find in Korea, for the most part, and again, not all schools, but for the most part, you'll find that it's a lot easier to go up in rank. You know, we like to call those uh, McDojos, right? Or since it's Korean, McDojongs. I hate really admitting it, but there are a ton of them here. You will have the confidence of that of a black belt without the skill. Cause you'll be walking around with a second degree black belt, third degree black belt, but yet you probably have never fought in a tournament, probably never really pressure tested your skills, your kicking, your reaction time your footwork actually truly pressured tested it and knowing how good you actually are and it all just goes back to the way that taekwondo has been treated in korea and the system that has been cultivated and produced a lot of people who really just can't actually fight all in all i love taekwondo i will always love taekwondo i'll always be a fan of taekwondo i will do taekwondo in the job of a hat because i love it so dang much but I am not very happy with the Taekwondo that I've seen in South Korea. If you can find a really good school with a great instructor, tons of classmates that are gonna be around your age and a good program, go do it, go do it. You know, and also a good part about Taekwondo is that it is really good for conditioning. You will lose weight in Taekwondo, your cardio will jump up and you'll gain some muscle definition. Not to mention your flexibility will get really good. So, all, so it is a really good martial art and if you do start sparring in it, then oh my gosh, your footwork, your reaction time, your speed, everything will increase. So it is a fantastic martial art. The only thing is, is that from what I've seen here in South Korea, a lot of schools just don't really bring out the best in it. Please do it. Let me know in the comments below how it is because I would love to advise other people to go to that school as well. I would like to go to that school myself to try it out and see how things are. Taekwondo is a gorgeous martial art. It is beautiful. It is one of the best martial arts in the world. I just feel that some people, for some odd reason, in Korea, it's just not that good. So if you guys have any experience doing Taekwondo in South Korea, please let me know. If you think I'm wrong, please also let me know. I wanna know, I don't wanna go around being wrong. Drop those comments below. Also, if you want any advice as to what martial arts to do, I'd be more than happy to let you know. Of course, Taekwondo will be on that list because I do love Taekwondo, but of course, that will also come with a few more advisements with it. If you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and also become part of the MK Clan, guys. We need you. We need you. Come join us in the MK Clan. But yo, until the next video, you guys be cool. Sorry, smack my mic. But yo, until the next video, you guys be cool. Peace.